are more important because they can tell other people how we feel, right? And we can, if they, they show how we feel, okay? You can, other people can look at your face and say, oh, wow, you're really sad. Did you hurt your finger? Yeah. Right? I know, I know. Or, what face is that? Oh. Surprise. Surprise. Maybe I just opened a really cool birthday present, right? Yeah. Okay. Or how about this? Maybe I just stubbed my toe and it hurts, right? So we are going to learn today about the different parts of our face that can show how we feel, okay? Now I wore this clear one so you can see my face because I can't see most of your faces. I can see your, your eyes and your eyebrows, right? Which are super, super important how we feel, okay? So we have our eyebrows, right? Okay, some of us have very light colored eyebrows. Some of us has, have darker colored eyebrows. And when you get old, you want more eyebrows. Yeah. Okay, and we have our nose. Can you make your nose look angry? No, no. <sighs> I can. Can you? Yeah, can you kind of go? Yeah, you can kind of scrunch it up like that a little bit. Scrunch it up, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, how about our mouth? Now, I don't want you to take your masks off, okay? You can do it behind your mask, but I'll do my mouth and you can watch, okay? So, what's this? It's kind of just straight across. It's kind of maybe angry. Yeah, okay. How about this? Scared. Kind of scared. So, we have all these different parts of our face and they all work together to show how we feel and we're going to learn how to draw those today okay we have some chalk and that look i cleaned our board off okay now we're going to draw our friend and i call him fred okay just good old fred fred the face okay so here we have fred's first face okay now oh i did forgot to talk about Pupils. Does anybody know what a pupil is? Yeah. Yeah? What is a pupil? I forgot. Hmm? I forgot. You forgot. Okay, what's a pupil? It's, it's like a little black spot in your eye. That's right. It's actually the hole in the middle of your eye that lets the light come in that helps us see. Okay? Now, our eyes, because we're human, Okay, go the same way, like this. If we look over there, one, both eyes look over there. Okay, if we look up like this, both eyes look up, okay? Now there's an animal called a chameleon. Have you ever heard of a chameleon? Yeah, yeah. their eyes don't go together. They can go, they, one eye can look up here, and one eye can look down there. It's a pretty clever trick, but we can't do that as humans, okay? So that. if our pupils, Okay, are usually lined up the same way. Okay, now when you draw a picture of a person, okay, there's our eyeballs. Okay, you can make the person. Where's this person looking? That, that. Over here, huh? Okay, let's draw another one right here. Okay. I think he's looking at that bird right there. He's looking at that bird, okay? Now let's go like this. That's a crow. It is a crow, yeah. That crows are all real. Now where he, where's he looking? Down. Kind of you guys, right? He's looking down at you. So this is how you can draw eyes to make your face look in a certain direction. Okay? So if you're drawing a picture of you and your mom looking at each other, okay, you might want to go like this. Right? Look, they look, they're looking, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> Maybe this guy just took a really fun. 
funny joke and he's making a silly face. Okay? Because yeah. his pupils aren't the same. Okay? Yeah. Like yeah. Wow. So you guys have all made silly faces before, right? Okay. I made this face with my mouth. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to talk about our eyebrows. Okay? Now, can you continue to go do them up, down, like this? Yeah. How many of you can do that? Up, down, up, down, up. It takes a lot of muscles in your head to do that. Up, down, up, down, right? Okay, so I'm going to put some eyebrows on, and I want you guys to think in your head about what's happening here to this face, okay? Some eyebrows. Okay. Now, the only one that should be super obvious to you right now, because there's not a mouth to go with it, is this one. He doesn't look very happy, does he? No. Frank, Fred looks pretty bad there. Okay. So now we're going to put some faces, some mouths in. Okay. Now, when we're surprised, our mouth is kind of shaped like an O, right? Because <gasps> we're usually inhaling our air because we're surprised. <gasps> kind of maybe frightens us a little bit, okay? When we're angry, our mouth is usually closed because we're usually holding our teeth together, okay? And our jaw muscles right here are holding our mouth closed, okay? So that's a mad mouth. When we smile, when we smile, lots of times you can see teeth if you have teeth. Sometimes kids your age are missing teeth because they've lost teeth, right? Right? Just like a jackal. Okay, so let's put in some mouths, and then all of a sudden you're going to see how these people, this poor guy Fred, is feeling, okay? First I think I'll put a nose in, okay? There's my typical nose, it's just an L, a backwards L, okay? You can do it the other way too. All right, so here we go. Now how's he feeling? Surprised. Surprised, right. How's he feeling? Happy. Happy. How's he feeling? Happy. Oh. Oh dear. How's he feeling? Sad. Super sad, huh? How's he feeling? Scared. Yeah, scared or worried, right? Okay. Now, we forgot ears, so let's put some ears on our guy here. Alright. They look like aliens, but they have pointy They and they have no hair, right? Sometimes people don't have hair, and that's okay. Yeah, daddy don't have hair. We can do some hair. Sometimes daddy do not have hair. That's correct. My daddy, my daddy don't have hair. He's have drawing hair sometimes. Yeah, maybe he will when he gets a little older. He's a grown man. So look at those faces now. The cool thing about the project that I brought for you guys is you get to experiment with Fred. Here's Fred, okay? Teachers, you should be able to just wipe this down with a cloth, okay? Now, you guys are gonna have to, um, maybe, maybe the back row could get up on your knees just so you can see, okay? So what I've done, and the why this project is so cool, is because it's kind of like a puzzle and you can experiment with all of Fred's facial features, okay? So his eyebrows and his eyes and his different mouths, okay? So here we have his hair, okay? Yeah. His good old hair, okay? Here we have uh, what kind of face? Smile. A happy wow. face, a smile face, right? Okay? Now this one is tricky, right? Because this could be this one, or it could be this one. Okay, so you could put this one either way. He can be sad, or he can be happy. Okay? This one, what do you think? What? Uh, I think it's just kind of a kind of a closed face. Okay? Right? And where's this one? Okay, there's the surprised face. Okay, here we have his nose. nose. And here we 
have his Okay? And I got two sets of eyebrows. Okay? So we have a set of brown ones and a set of black ones. Okay? Now, what I want you to do when you get to this art project as your work, okay, is I want you to try and set his face up to show different feelings. So what did I do here? What face is this? Surprised, yep. Okay, now how about this? Oh my, and all I did was tilt the eyebrows and he all of a sudden looks mad. It's crazy, huh? Why is that? I don't know, maybe, maybe he has too much laundry to do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else we can do. Let's switch his eyebrows this way. Oh, Annie and Kate sit sad back. and worried. Oh my goodness. And how about this? Oh, he looks really sad. Now what happens if we make angry eyebrows with that? Oh, now he looks even more angry. Isn't that crazy how you can just change those tiny little things about your face? I don't know what happened. Maybe his bird flew away because his kid left the page open. Maybe. Let's see. Let's make him happy. Let's tell him a good joke. Annie, there sit down on your bottom, go. please. That's better. And you can flip his eyebrows around. And you can, let's make him look silly. Let's make him look silly. Look at that. We just tilted the mouth a little. But these people are happy. everybody can just be happy all the time. Yeah, I can yeah. be. But that's I, not reality, is it? I feel the thought in it. Okay. So, when you have, oh, and I also gave you these eyes, just because sometimes, oops, where's the other one? Oh, maybe we don't have it. Okay, that's all right. We won't worry about that one because I think I lost it. Um, if you want to draw a sleeping person. Okay, have you ever had to draw a sleeping person? Sometimes it's good to know how to draw a sleeping person. Let's just do that really quick. And that'll be the last Fred face we do, okay? So, there's his head, right? There's his ears. There's his hair. Now, when you close your eyes, they're just, all you can really see is the eyelashes. Right? Because you can't see the pupil or the pretty color part of your eye. You just see the eyelashes. So if you want to do a sleeping person, you just go like that. And he's already sleepy. Now when you're sleeping, do you frown? Mm -hmm. Not usually. Unless you're having a bad dream. Right? Do you smile when you're sleeping? Mm -hmm. If you're having a good dream, maybe. But usually our mouths are just kind of plain. Right? So he's just sleeping. Okay? So if you want to draw a sleeping face, you just have to do those kind of eyes. Okay? Yes, question, Joe? What's the pumpkin for? Oh, that's for a different art lesson. I have to do two lessons today. Okay? So, when you do this project, okay, I want you to play with this face, okay? Play around with all the different facial features, and then I want you to try and do four facial expressions, okay? Four of them. So you could do angry and happy and surprised and sad. Yeah, that's okay? Fun. So I want you to try and draw four faces on your paper. And now to make that easier for you, okay, I want you to divide your paper into four sections like this, okay? So one face is gonna be here, One's going to be here, one's going to be here, and one's going to be here. Okay? Does everybody get it? Okay. I want you to practice your eyebrow exercises, okay? Up, down, up, down, right? Can you make one go up and one go down? We didn't.
do a face like that either. Here. There's hair. There's a smile. There's his eyes. And there's an up and a down. Look at that. Maybe he's doing a hard nap problem. Okay. All right. Thank you for being such good listeners. But all it has to be is like a tongue sticking out. Uh,